Hello everyone. In this lecture, we will practice application set matrix generator. Matrix generator will combine parameters generated by two sub generators or two child's generators. So we can use these parameters to produce every possible application. And this will give us more flexibility for advanced use cases. So in this practice, we want to deploy multiple applications into all clusters with label non-prod equal true. And we have to achieve this using one application set manifest. And for the generated applications, we need to set the application name to include the base path name that is in get and the cluster name where the application will be deployed into. So we need to deploy all the Helm charts under this directory into the clusters that has the label none prod equally true. Let's begin. Let's remember that we have connected two clusters in RBCD, the local cluster and the remote cluster in DigitalOcean. And we need to deploy every application under this directory, which it has the Falco Helm chart and the Kyverno Helm chart. So the application set expected to generate four applications, two in local cluster, and to a remote cluster. I have defined this application set manifest with name security apps matrix. And in the generators section, I have used the matrix generator and used two child generators. The first one is get directory generator. And the second one is the clusters generator. Please note that you can use maximum two child generators in matrix. So let's remember that the requirements need to deploy all the applications under this path in this repository and deploy it into the clusters with label none prod equal true. So that's why we use this combination between the Git generator and the clusters generator. And in the application template, as per the requirements, we need to set the name to include the cluster name. So we used name normalized and the path to base name that is provided by the Git generator. So that's how we combine the parameters between two generators. Name normalized is provided by the cluster generator and path to base name is provided by the git generator. Also the same for the source in the application template, we are using the path parameter. And for the namespace also we set it as name normalized dash path to the base name. Let's apply this using kubectl. I will apply this using kubectl. Now let's go to the web UI and see the generated applications. As we can see in the web UI, there are four generated applications as expected, two in the local cluster, and two in the remote cluster, one for Falco and one for Kyverno for each. So the matrix generator give us this ability to deploy multiple applications into multiple clusters. And we have to note that if we added more clusters with the label non prod equal true, it will also generate applications directly. And the same goes if we add another application in Git under the security policy charts, it will also generate the application for each chart under this directory. 
This is the power of application set. That's it for this lecture. See you next.